much, much uh, local fashion that is available in the country. And indeed, President Uhuru Kenyatta has been at the forefront in promoting the Buy Kenya, Build Kenya initiative. His designer, Africa print shirts, are produced locally at the Rift Valley Textile in Wasangishu County. Let's now speak to Wanyama, who is at Rivertex and is joined by the managing director at Rivertex. That's Professor Tom Kip Kurgat. Uh, Wanyama, it'll be interesting to hear from him where people can actually buy those shirts that we see the president donning quite a bit lately. A very good question uh, uh, back there in the studio, and that's what we'll be asking. And as you know, as you've said, whenever one mentioned river tax, uh, someone, whatever comes into your mind, is about the President Uhuru Kenyatta's shirts that he wears every Friday. And I'm privileged to have the managing director, Thomas Kipkurkat, here just to find out where once uh, Matole wants to find out where can someone get this kind of shirts and whatever you are doing in uh, Rivertex in this country. Okay, uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Wanyama. I want to say I'm I'm very privileged to have the citizen uh, hearing of fashion. I want to say that uh, Rivertex, we are doing a very great job in terms of uh, bringing new fashions, new designs every week, every day, so that we can serve our clients. We have uh, several shops in Kenya. We have a main shop here. This is actually our production area. We have a shop here in the Rivertex uh, factory. We have one in, in Eldoret, Eldoret town, Nakuru, Nairobi, Kisumu. So, and we are keeping on expanding. We also tr bring up the issue of agents so that they can help us distribute these uh, our clothes in different regions of the country. Okay. Yes. And, and maybe another question. What has been the impact of Rivertex on the social fashion industry? First of all, I want to say that uh, since we we started doing the fashion and uh, apparel in this uh, in this uh, factory. We have made a lot of impact in terms of uh, of creating up and expanding SMEs. What they do, at the same time also creating employment. Uh, in this section alone, we have increased more than 100 tailors just to catch up with the with the demand of the country. We are very happy with the Pi Kenya Peel Kenya uh, Friday wear, which is really supporting us. Kenya Fashion Council. We are discussing with them and also Export Promotion Council, so that we can expand our fabric. Uh, in, the, in the country -wide and also outside the country and so that the progress we are making and uh, it has brought a lot of impact in terms of uh, also making Kenya appreciate our fashion because you know fashion is very dynamic so it changes all the time so we are trying to catch up we have a very dynamic fashion uh, de de design department we have a very nice uh, teaching and tailoring department which does a very wonderful job mm -hmm. for commenting and so we are very happy so that's why we have gone further until we have started the head of state, who is our ambassador number one. Wow. Now, where do you source your cotton? Yeah, we, mainly we source our cotton locally, and then we source also others from our neighboring countries, East Africa countries, uh, Uganda, Tanzania. Those are the areas we are sorting, uh, sourcing our, our cotton right now. And, but, but currently, we are also promoting cotton growers locally, so that we can also uh, enhance this by Kenya Peel Kenya initiative. Yes. How many people maybe have you have Rivertex employed directly and indirectly? So we can say directly we have employed more than a thousand employees here. Remember, we started with only 230 employees. Now we are a thousand uh, hundred employees. At the same time, also we also have indirect employees, which are people working in the farm, people uh, SMEs, and uh, those people who are doing fashion. Uh, we have more than 2,000. So we have impact as we are growing now because of COVID. It slowed us a bit. But for now, we are going to increase more and increase our market share. At the same time, increase our niche and also make sure that we reach uh, countrywide in terms of having our own fashion. We are also trying to design our own uh, attire, Kenyan dress. So this art is in progress. We will definitely share. It, when time at that right time comes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you very much. Matwale is not only the president of Hur Kenyatta shirt, the famous one, but as my cameraman can show you here, this is for our Kenya Defense Forces uniform. You can see the shirts here, dresses here, and uh, also the new police uniforms, Matwale, is being done here, without, without forgetting me to mention about that. These are new shirts here, going maybe for around 1,500 1, to 2,000. New Kenya police shirts, uniform. They are here, Matole. If you can see, very well done. But before COVID, we are being informed that uh, they were, all of them, even that, those for Kenya Defense Forces, they were being imported outside this country. But since the COVID stepped in this country, now all these are being done by Rivertex 
company, and uh, I think it's a good thing they are saying uh, uh, since they started, uh, for sure, Matole, they are saying they have employed more than 2,000, something they are saying they are about again to increase. And also, it's the main company that is also working on uh, not only the, those one, Matole, you can have a look at this one. Uh, it is for Kenya Airport Authority also. All these uniforms, we are being informed that they were being done outside the country, but now they are all here. Well done just from the scratch um, until where it is. Matole. Thank you, Wanyama, for that. Um, we really appreciate it.